Hello everyone, in today's video tutorial, I will provide an overview of the Material Master in SAP MM. Without further ado, let's get started. The Material Master Record is a company's central source of material-specific data. It is used in all areas of logistics. The data stored in the Material Master is required for many activities such as purchasing, for external ordering purposes, inventory management, for posting goods movements and physical inventory management, accounting, for material valuation, MRP views, for material requirements planning, sales view stores sales related data, various user departments within a company work with material data and each department stores different information relating to it. As a result, the data in a material master record is subdivided according to the specific user department. Therefore, each user department has its own view of a material master record and is responsible for maintaining this data. Material master record maintenance The data screens in material master record maintenance are subdivided into the following types. Initial level. This means that the data is valid for the entire company. The client level is the highest level in the material master hierarchy. Main work level. These are the screens for the individual user departments, such as sales data, purchase data, materials planning, and so on. Additional data level. On these screens, you find additional information such as alternative units of measure, material short descriptions, and consumption values. The data retained within a view may be valid for different organizational levels. The material master is organized hierarchically to reflect the organizational structure of a company with some material data being valid for all levels and other material data being valid only for specific levels. Material data is distinguished in the structure in the following ways. Data at client level. General material data that is valid for the whole company is stored at client level. Below are the few examples of client level data. Material number. A unique identifier for the material. Material description, material group, base unit of measure, the weight of the material and the volume of the material. Data at plant level in the material master is the data that is specific to a particular plant within the company. Data at storage location level. All data that is valid for a particular storage location is stored at storage location level. These organizational levels are relevant for the external procurement process. Client, plant, and storage location matter when you enter data for purchasing, inventory management, and accounting. Other organizational levels can be relevant for other departments. For example, the sales and distribution data is entered depending on the sales organization and the distribution channel. For the warehouse management data, you must specify a warehouse number and storage type. Maintenance of Material Master Records Material data is structured by user department and organizational level and is also evident in Material Master Record Maintenance When processing Material Master Records, you have to Pass through several dialog screens before you start to add or change data. On the initial screen, you will see two successive dialog boxes. In the first dialog box, specify the views that you want to process. In the second dialog box, specify the relevant organization levels. Next, you will see the data screens. You can influence the default screen sequence by Configuring the presettings Material type 
The material type and industry sector are two of the key attributes of a material in the material master record as they determine the way the material is managed and processed by the system. The material type controls the following functions. Number assignment or number range external number range or internal number range. Procurement type such as external procurement or internal procurement or both. Selections views or user deportments. Field selections in Material Master We can control fields in six different ways. Material type controls account determination and many more. The material type and plan together determine how a material is maintained in inventory management, including whether the quantity changes are updated in the material master record, the value changes in the stock accounts of financial accounting, or both. The material type is a key factor in the automatic account determination process, which determines which accounts are updated when a receipt or issue is posted for a material. The standard SAP system provides a variety of material types, but companies can also define additional material types to meet their specific needs. This can be done in customizing, which is a process of configuring the SAP system to meet the specific requirements of a company. Industry Sector In material master like the material type, the industry sector also has a control function. When you create a material master record, the industry sector determines the sequence of views and field selection. Importantly, the material you assign to an industry sector cannot be changed later. In customizing, companies can define new industry sectors and maintain the field reference for field selection control to meet their specific needs. Some data in the material master is used for information purposes only. For example, description, size, and dimensions. Other material data has a control function in an application. For example, the valuation class determines what GL accounts will be posted to. Material Master Record Extension to maintain missing views or deportments, we can use transaction code MM01 and to change material master data, we can use transaction code MM02. Here, we can change already maintained views and organizational levels. To extend material master from one plant to another plant, we can use transaction code MM01. Importantly, we can change material type by using transaction code MMM. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video.